Listen. Bounce on that, mm, mm, bounce on that, mm, mm, I can't swear, it's too early, but bounce on that, mm, mm, baby, <laughs> ooh, you're not hearing me <laughs> when it comes to what I needed to hear before this trip I'm about to take on this good God-given Thursday to release myself from the toxicity of the interweb net. AOL all the way through it, the Yahoo group days, to now and then some. I'm wearing merch. It's your boy, Maddie Rants. I'm on 2%, and we're going to get it today. We're going to get it today. Bucking, bucking like a mechanical. Oh, oh. we're going to get there today. It's going to be Drag Race. It's going to be Cowboy Carter. It's going to be a bunch of bent wrist individuals, of different persuasions well me bottom they top uh uh gay that kind of stuff but there we're going to do it today plus i you know have some information when we get to cowboy carter because a lot of people were talking about the vinyls and the cds and apparently the album was gonna have a completely different name and that's why certain tracks weren't on what they got but then she wanted to do it differently at the last minute so that's why we got even more of a complete version of what was supposed to be it's a lot hi it's at Maddie Rance everywhere except for X, which is at the Maddie Rance. You can find the link tree link, which is in the description. And uh, you could also find my Patreon link because I do reactions to each and every one of the shows that I talk about on this good platform, plus some Patreon exclusives and uh, bookable on Cameo. I have a request I need to get to today uh, as well as uh, merch like the panel shirt that you see here that you could get on uh, dragqueenmerch.com. Yes, Jamar Braxton is a top. Someone said Jamar Braxton. They put you in that family, friend. We appreciate y'all so much for being here, and we thank you so much for tuning in on this good Easter Sunday. If you don't believe in the Easter Bunny, say amen. That's a contradiction, is it? Uh, but what you can do is find yourself in the entertainment zone because disclaimer, this program is for entertainment purposes only and content is not intended to malign any religion, race, company, individual, gender, or weeks. All opinions expressed by many rants and program participants are so their personal views and do not reflect the opinions of every human being on the planet. No hate should be sent to any of the shows or individuals mentioned on this program, so please don't be rude and grab your libations and strap in because Maddie and company are talkers and you may be here for a while. Please do not post any spoilers in the chat because that's weird. Also, if you feel uncomfortable after viewing this program, consume some activity and have yourself a good old nasty gas poot. Okay, very much that. As you know, the trip is coming up. I had a very tumultuous week to say the least, and I talk about it in my last video as well as on Patreon. But if you want to be my lover and drop me a little love my way, it's going towards Miami, baby, because once rent is paid tomorrow, all I am focused on. Is, is that plane ride, me getting some vitamin D, that could be meant in multiple ways, if that's even what happens, but mostly the sun and the broken ozone layer from this dying earth, that's a little too real, very much that. I got a cat sitter and everything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> Paypal.me forward slash Red Rants, catch up, Dallas Library Rants, and Vimo Dash Rants. Also, shout out to my friend Bleaker. Y'all know Bleaker for the movie chats. They're actually coming into town tomorrow and they'll be spending the week with me. Also, uh, looking forward to spending some time with them. And we're possibly doing a live movie uh, review. And this time we're in the same room together. So it's not separate occasion. So be the, on the lookout for that. I'm going to do a little something before I leave, though. I am. I'm on my low percentage, but I'm on the. Whatever I do after this is going to be vacation mindset ready. Let me just have fun, say some shits and giggles, and go on from there. Uh, but we appreciate you for being here today. All of the gentle queer men, 
that are going to be uh, popping up in this chat also have their cash apps available. So if you want to throw them a little bit of love, it does go a long, long way. We appreciate you for tuning in and being here today. Girl, they are not going to shame me. I got a trip coming up and I need all kinds of bread cheese money. You hear me? <laughs> um, again, we're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 and also Cowboy Carter. All right. Let's bring in the first co-host. You know, this, I don't, you know, I don't, yeah, I'm, you know, this, yeah, that's cool. Hey, we'll, we'll go ahead and bring them on in. Um, life is simple. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just radio. I say this is going to come abrupt. So I just, I'll just wait. <laughs> Every, everyone's cool. getting a dumb intro today. So get ready, kids. Uh, you better be by your cameras because it's going to be on purpose. Uh, hey, Jamar, how you doing, baby? Oh, what's going on? For I, too, am waiting for next week. You're also <laughs> going, that's right. You're also I going too. on VK. So this is our last panel uh, the next Sunday Everybody's on break. Don't look for none of them hoes. You can get in their inboxes if you about that life uh, for certain <laughs> girls. But like, other than that, yeah, uh, the break is necessary for all occasions. And Please. Persuasions. Please. So, Maddie, did you know Bob is one of your patrons? Yeah, I knew. I'm also a patron of Bob and Monet. Yes, I knew. I, I, one, one day I saw them like log it. I was like, say what? <laughs> it gagged me but yeah. also well shout out to bob bob is also we follow each other on instagram and i've met bob and if y'all remember there was a dance off video i had with bob and all that good stuff so um you know shout out to bob the drag queen and monet exchange it's funny when i met monet it was like girl i know you from somewhere i said bitch i know you from somewhere too because <laughs> low-key we're like what half related for honey davenport being my mother uh-huh he called you Maddie with the big boots. Also, hi. Wait, say what? Wait, were they talking about me in the most recent one? Matt, Bob mentioned you on their live show. What? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I, I got the... um. I got the notification. I just haven't watched it yet. With the big booty, I can't. I mean... Oh, Maddie with the big booty. I mean, well, listen... <laughs> the girls know. <laughs> no, but I'm just playing. I have the clip. Go ahead, send it to me. I love it. I got to hit up Bob. Uh, we're supposed to play Smash Brothers, and we never have. We've always talked shit about that. And Bob, when I told him I play as Peach, he was like, oh, really? Trash. I said, excuse me? Okay. Bitch putting to me have played. So, like, Bob, whenever you're ready, Miss Drag Queen, come on come on with it. If we're still playing that game. Because uh, I'm on Tekken right now, and I'll wear you out with June. I think they just stopped content for it entirely. Jamar, didn't you release content recently? I did release content on my YouTube channel, Jamar84. Uh, pivot, pivot, pivot. Right, I'm about to say, so you can find me on my social <laughs> media. Because I forgot we didn't forget that part. Uh, you know? Jamar84 across all social media platforms, J-A-M-A-R-A-4, uh, with the exception of TikTok with Jamar840. But yes, I've uploaded more content onto the YouTube. Um, it's actually doing surprisingly better than I thought it would be. So thank y'all so much for supporting. That's right. And they should support you because support Black business. Support Dead Eyes, Jamar84. Uh, we thank you for being here. Is Jiggly Caliente in the room with us right now? Do I see my sister? What, I should. Am I, am I going to be messy, Jiggly, and ask you what time is it where you're at? Oh my goodness! I don't know what where, where where that came from, baby. I know you. I know you here in the states. Let's see. Gotta watch y'all now. I'm back. Oh, hey. Oh, Jiggly. we're glad to have you back. <laughs> Can't wait to see. Uh, listen, uh, Jamar. Thanks for tuning in and being here today. Uh, hopefully, that's not that uh, Yeti cup that they say has all that lead in it, sister. I don't. I don't want to lose your friend. Okay. Mm -mm. No, not yet. They, no, they have those. This just came from the office, child. This is this is my slug to Scotty by nature. I'll be your shotgun rider till the day I die. That's fine. It's so, that's me and Jamar's song. Scotty, you can't have that one. You can have K. Michelle. <laughs> Anywho, wow. okay. Blog, start a topic. All right, let's get to the next person here. I meant to start a war. It's okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. I'll, we'll catch each other up on the next Boys Night Out. Um, this one's a tall glass of platinum level Beyonce water for a lot of y'all that don't know. 
and sometimes he. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's C Diggy one. Hi, C Diggy. Um, it's nice to see you. I told you everyone's getting it today. Uh, be on your be ready. Blake's gonna, Blake's gonna have the worst time, but you know it's okay. Here we go. Um, no, C Diggy, glad to have you here. Excited to hear your thoughts on more than uh, on actually one topic in particular versus the first one we're gonna talk about. But yes, happy to have you here. Is that a, a Scarlet Witch uh, shirt that I'm looking at right now? Yeah, she's reading the Dark Hold. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very happy that I'm able to see that clearly right now. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> Wonder what they're gonna do with no, I don't. I don't care about Marvel right now. Anywho, C Diggy, social medias, please. Yeah, and also happy Beyonce weekend to everyone. Mm. <laughs> also, also happy Trans Visibility Day to Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, I don't know. Dumb, her. dumb, dumb. Anywho, um, did she do something? Bitch, she said, "Okay, C Diggy, social medias. I'll get into yeah. Reptar in a second. Come on, C Diggy. Well, first she was born, but um, <laughs> my name, <laughs> my name is C Diggy One. You can find me on." Instagram and YouTube. I do my own housewife reviews and also I'm on Patreon as well. Patreon.com slash CD. <laughs> Thank you so much, C Diggy. Uh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner made a post saying how disrespectful it was to have trans, trans, visibil uh, trans visibility day on Easter and Easter does not fall on the same day every year. It just so happens to fall on Trans Visibility Day. But she made a whole post saying how disrespectful it was like of so, Biden ooh. to make that happen when it has been something that's been going on for 10 years. Caitlyn Jenner. A trans woman is upset about a day showcasing her. I'm tired of Reptar, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rugrats hasn't been the same, and I don't want to see that dinosaur no more. No more speaking of you, you fossil fuel. Uh, anywho, I was like, you can't be serious. Like, you have to honestly look in the mirror at yourself every day and think, hmm, decisions were made. <sighs> you know what else? Yeah, ready. Um, I was going to comment about our good sis. Jiggly got to my comment first, but nothing but uh, bees and disease to that woman. Um, bees, I, I and never, disease. bees and disease. She gets no AIDS and she gets no health and wellness. Um, <laughs> it's worse when I, I was. Have, I have never. I just never expected in my lifetime to see a trans bootlicker. Like, like, like. How, how does how does how does Trump's boot? Taste I mean, like? we did watch that one season of uh, Drag <laughs> <The flavor>. <laughs> Like, <laughs> mm, well, oh, like a mechanical just, bull. Mama is so stupid. And so we, we've shouted out Easter. Shout out to the girls that uh that celebrate Ramadan. Y'all are in the. I know y'all are hungry. <laughs> y'all are in the midst of it. Stay strong. And uh, not the ones and cosplaying welcome. doing Ramadan. Sh Chantel, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Uh, can't wait for you to get out of lockdown. Uh, anywho, I, I feel like I'm in my old person, no time for shenanigans era. Like I just have very well, little, very little fuse for shenanigans. You know, you had to remind <laughs> me that my world is ending last week, and so since it has been. <laughs> thank you, Julie, for the what almost four hundred dollar bill and a car payment I had to just make for some work Ooh. done, and I still have eight hundred more dollars to pay now. Yes, and so my <laughs> car is fully back up. It just. I, I told that man, I just want her to go. We we gonna Lady, work on the rest of it. It's to get the shows, <laughs> shows in the air uh, until the end of next month. And uh, I'm Gemini Moon. And, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she has some more shenanigans planned for later this summer when um, Jupiter moves into Gemini. So dot your eyes, cross your teeth, and get your life ready. <laughs> Hopefully it'll give Gemini you Gemini Moon's in danger or something? What's going on here? Well, the no, Libras, the the it's, it's a lot happening. And a Libra lot of and Aries are up for nomination right now. Pisces and Virgo are up for nomination right now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it just feels good to not have the universe on my neck. I feel I, I feel great. I just want to get through tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be up from there. That's all I'm gonna put it all like that. Like so, on a real note, like just get me to tomorrow. Once I get on my flight, did you set aside the bill money? 
I think I will be fine. I don't think I'm going to knock anybody out, but you know, if I do, I will be, you know, I was a track star duly. So, you know, no shame. I will make sure that I don't, for the entire time that you're there, I'll make sure that I, I have a D&D turned off. That way, if you have to call me at 3 a.m., I, I will receive your phone call. If I am past the point of like, responsibility you know alcohol me which normally i'm not but some of y'all have jamar has seen me there <laughs> where i'm wild and crazy like i'm about to swing on somebody if they say something stupid i will send you my location okay right before they arrest me <laughs> okay. just, just so you know where my phone was you hear that jiggy you hear that jamar if y'all get the location you know you know it's going down <laughs> that's the last reported place because <laughs> scouting area you, you think I'm soft, but old buddy, <laughs> do not do not play because <laughs> that Virgo sun, <laughs> um, rar arising, rar. But um, listen, uh, Dooley, social media is welcome back. You can find everything that you want to know at linktree.com forward slash Dooley underscore underscore. It's amazing. Thank you, Dooley, so very much. You know she ain't ready. Greetings on Super Saiyan. Which is actually <laughs> very my name. I was expecting something. It's like, girl, she was here. But I told y'all at the beginning, Jamar was the only one that had no warning. I said, I'm going to just do this for everybody. Everyone's getting nonsense today. But I do love that you're wearing the merch that I'm supposed to get tomorrow. Hey. I have about four more shirts coming. <laughs> Wait, you okay? Come on, four more shirts now. Bio Miss Flores, Maddie, have fun with the scammer capital of the country. Right? <laughs> oh my god, they make Atlanta look like they have integrity. Uh, I listen, you you're, you're, from Miami, yes, you just have you just have to know where to go. It's not my first time going to Miami, the last time I was there was seven years ago, and I was completely gooped by places because I was new, but I am not so. There will be times when my friends maybe want to make decisions that they want to stand their ground on, where I'm like, okay, girl, I'm gonna go somewhere else real quick. Just... <laughs> make, sure you, make sure you use Apple Pay. You don't want the girls getting your numbers. Just go ahead yeah. and Apple Pay that, because <laughs> or use your Amex and then just be like, I wasn't there. Uh, Up to five. Uh, use cash. your Amex. Thanks, Blake. We were, we, were, we were going to split the difference between locations of certain cards that I don't care about and other cards that uh, that like. You don't get this until it's like an integrity, you know, all the businesses. I'm also not going to rent something from off the beach. So just so we're clear <laughs> there, <laughs> I learned a lesson with the jet ski. Right. Oh, baby. Let me tell you about Jamaica with that, though, you. like walking on the beach. We were, th we were thinking it was attached to the hotel. Mm -mm, a whole nother thing. Come back from an hour, $200. I was 17. I'm saying, oh, bitch, what kind of job? <laughs> Horrible death. So, yeah, you got to. Pay attention to what's going on, but no, I'm I'm pretty good with this. I'm also in my range of 30s, where uh, my bullshit detector and also me not wanting to talk to people because I'm antisocial half the day will save me. So, Blake, do you want people to find you? Uh, no, but if you choose to, you can find me hanging out with a Creole banshee bitch from Louisiana. Hey, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> all right jennifer williams all right listen uh no we're not gonna do that today uh chris is a louisianan so there you go that is the term i don't know uh yeah first super chat of the day aletha monet come on pretty i'm wearing the same shirts blake is wearing come on now hive stand up i know you other girls <laughs> listen we're gonna talk about it today you're gonna be mad about it uh, Casey, thank you so much for the tippy poo on Cash App uh, for Miami. I appreciate you. Uh, I also got Asia uh, for don't disrespect Reptar like that. Reptar, da 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 da. You remember the ice show that they did for Reptar on the show? I do. Reptar on ice. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fi find your way back. Um, we appreciate y'all for tuning in today. Once again, if you want to drop a little tippy poo and some love, help your boy with Miami's trip. And if you want to drop something for the other gentlemen because they're awesome, I swear, they're terrible. No, they're good people. Uh, send them some love your way. Crash. I mean, seeing, have, as be, seeing as we have to be kept in line, I didn't realize that, you know. Well, <laughs> you know, as long as you understand, just mind your burly ass business when we're talking about royalty. Okay, Anastasia. We're not going to do this today. Yeah, that's right. 
conserve a Maddie. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. Uh, but they <laughs> conserve a Maddie. Boo. Crash, thank you for this. <laughs> <laughs> to be for cash. I have to move. I'm trying to move Great away team. from Julie. Julie's That's trying to fun. pull me in. Uh, happy Easter and happy cowboy. Carter de all. Thank you so much, uh, Crash. I appreciate you. I was at Walmart today and it was ridiculous at like 11 something this morning. I was like, what is happening here? Y'all are supposed to be in church. I realized, no, this is after first service. It's been so long. I said, okay, the girls didn't actually make dinner beforehand. Like my mama would have done that night. So that way when you come from church, everything's ready to go, stacked and ready. I said, "These, it, I know who was in there. You know, no shade, but you know, I said, oh, this is not that household, baby. Listen, a reminder of entertainment. We're gonna try to have that with this. Did you enjoy the episode starting with Jamar Go? All right, not thank really. you. See Diggy, right? So no, I'm just <laughs> Jamar, what, what are your um, thoughts? I I enjoyed it for the most part, but the makeover episodes are always Boom. finicky. You always leave them kind of feeling a little like, did I just get scammed? Like what just happened here? But I don't what know. Is- it's a slow show for me. Uh, B. Castro, thank you for the tippy poo on Cash App. Uh, I want to know, see Diggy, did you stay awake for this? Because it is the American show, so I know you watched it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I did not enjoy this episode. I thought it was on some high key bullshit Uh-oh. on all the results. Uh-oh. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I forgot this is your um Candace Owens of the group now. We gotta move to Dooley Candace here. Owens. Oh my you, god. You, That's you, you next Tuesday. Okay, you know, I just wanted to wait for <laughs> so, um, I wanted, him, I wanted to see the coon the coon colors. Okay, well, listen. Meet Dooley. Tupac. Um, since our I also agree, uh they were on some bullshit today. Um, and you know, much like France did with what Louis the, the, the 16th, they made the wrong choice, so royalty needs to be beheaded. Oh, he's educated, be proud of her. Blake, do you care about what Dooley just be said? Uh, I don't care about most of what Dooley says, but I uh, agree with what he said. everyone. Laugh, uh, okay, sorry. So, I, I, I had to watch the episode twice to actually really understand how they got to the result that they got to, Ooh. but I. And watching it the first time, I was like, "Oh no, this shot, the doc, this is you fucked up, and yeah. you have you, you, you've moved the bar for certain girls, and it's not fair." My first yeah. question would be: Was the bottom two correct? No. Oh, I don't think all right. so. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. To Blake's point, like, like <laughs> just just thinking about the, the the recent makeover challenges. Like, I'm even willing to take us back to like I don't know, like season eight or nine. So like. You got Monet. Remember they gave Monet that raggedy. It wasn't that Tyler Oak. Best friend. <laughs> they, no, not that one. That was oh, 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 sorry. They, they Ooh, set up. They sorry. set up Monet and eliminated her, but then kind of gave her the same storyline during her All Star season, and then let her pass. Mm. They gave. I'm thinking about like peppermint and spearmint, like how that became a story, but then like today, like. You, I never, to, to everyone's point, like I never know what flavor of the makeover challenge we're going to get any given season because they always change the rules. Tell me what's your flavor. Ooh, what's your flavor? It's not flavor. I can tell you that. Flavor. It's never been for you, you hateful, burly bitch. I just really implore. I mean, <laughs> even Beyonce said we don't like you, playing. You like, wide you shoulder know? heifer. I mean, she was in a whole song. Listen, <laughs> play Jade Spaghetti. Oh my goodness, that was a fun one. Um, you know, I hmm. Safira wasn't going to go anywhere, regardless of how people felt about the lip sync for me. And I know folks that will respectfully disagree, and I appreciate the comment that said that. I do the same because I'm like, no matter how you felt, that lady wasn't going to go in goddamn nowhere. Period. But I do feel like morphine was judged weirdly compared to someone like Q. And this is not shade to the bald headed Caillou. It's no, it's no shade to her, but like high key family resemblance. And you did a mime face. Shade. Huh? Like that's not, that's you doing a face to make y'all look alike. And then on top of that, you brought clothes for someone who was wide, which is smart. And I received that, but I'm also thinking we made a whole critique about, you know, um, Miss Mama from Enchanto in- in- that Morphine had to work on here. Louise, a big, strong man ass, but look at the face. 
that was a beat mug. And it's like, bitch, that's a makeover. Like, no shade. Like, it's they somehow. Legit. They legit were like, like, also, the dancing part of it, that was a part of the challenge. You're telling me Q oh. beat morphine in that department? No. Bullshit. No. So that's where I was like, after watching this again today, I said, this is kind of crazy. So I do see where people see morphine one the lip sync, but I'm also like, no, Safira is forever for me. However, I'm just like, it shouldn't even been that way, like at all, because we I know what we have. You know what? I'm going to blame this. This is shade. I blame this on the plasma fans. Y'all are uh, looking to be validated and justified, and y'all were willing to put Safira under the bus to prove your <laughs> point. I saw your comments on the Twitters and the social medias. Y'all are nasty. Y'all better stop. And that's why T.S. Madison had to get in that uh, ass this weekend, because y'all are talking on the side of your neck. Listen, stop it. <laughs> it's like a co it's been a compounded version of nonsense between Beyonce, T.S. Madison, and Safira all fucking weekend. And I've been losing my black mind on Twitter. Because oh, I'm what did like you say about T.S. Uh because oh, of the whole <laughs> yellow comment with uh, you know, Nymphia, and Nymphia. it turned into this whole thing. I said, Y'all were waiting for her to fuck up. God bless it if Ross has something on the slip note, but like this. Anywho, Ross will sit up there and bullshit for, for three minutes and 25 seconds using the most words to say nothing, and we're giving a side whole eyes. helium tank. Oh, leak, bitch. Okay. You had like, come on, you, now. Had, you had passion, you really deserve to be here. It's tens across the board, sweetie. Every week, Carson, I love all this that it's giving. Bottom joke. Bottom like, note, thank you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just throw it away. Okay. Michelle Cackle. <laughs> You know how it go. Like oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, hey. God bless America. Uh, <laughs> all right. They chose the men's. These are from the Drag Race uh, Vegas live show. I would encourage y'all to go see it. It was a good time when I went uh, and saw it with my friend Aaron. Uh, thank you for those tickets, friend. We had a good, good time. Shout out to 400 plus of you here. You may be like, what's happening? A lot. We're silly. It's kind of goofy. It's in show for entertainment. Don't take us too seriously here. We're just yelling at the screens right now. Don't mind us. But what you can mind if you want to is the tip jars because, bitch, I'm getting to Miami and I need some help because, girl, she had to go get this car done because Dooley put a spell on me. But listen, uh, I know you have food. Uh, if you also want to tip these babies, there's some cash right Sunday. now. You're a every lie Sunday to cheat. All players, right. <laughs> except for Blake. <laughs> Bitch, I know you. You in your closet cutting chicken heads off, Azalea. Anywho, uh, <laughs> we appreciate you. That's a that's an angry woman right now. No shade. Uh, I love you, Maddie and Dooley, and also see Diggy and Blake and Jamar. Thank you so very much. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you so very much, uh, Jamunji. Uh, this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this, episode <laughs> this episode could have been an email, to be honest, because it didn't make sense in my opinion. Just I mean, top three or four, and just stop wasting our fucking time. But if this was during the writer's strike, they couldn't write an email. Oh. Based upon the content, would it have mattered? I don't know. Fozzy, bad. <laughs> would they have made a difference? I don't know. They had a formula. They said morphine is going home one way or the next. One day. Listen, oh, I, listen. <laughs> I like this five week special dinner. Thank you. Mind you, morphine was the. You know, confessional queen for the entirety of the season, like gone. That normally happens around this point sometimes. Hmm. Anywho, and they have no one left. Somebody, yeah. oh, I want to say shout out to the shady girls who remembered this. I forgot this even aired, but somebody clipped the Las Vegas reality show. Mm -hmm. uh, he was on uh, there. It's him making out with Naomi. <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> mm -hmm. I totally forgot about that until I saw the clip again. Shout out to y'all. In the, the, the gag, it's like, oh, that's right. That was you. All that hair confused me. Because I was like, this must be off season. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> let me not do all that. Plain Jane was worried about wide feet. Uh, morphine was stuck here. I was too low key. He's fine. He's I, I, we would have changed this entire Ooh. thing up. This is make a husband, not make a sister. Like, I'm. Uh, we're going to go down the aisle. I'm doing wedding dress. Like, <laughs> ain't no way. You have to go to the bathroom room, and I would have kept my microphone on, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes. my goodness. And that means sometimes. Julie's a tyrant. 
All right, so listen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you my Desert Eagle girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Salon should have been on that track and it should have been two extra more minutes. I'm sorry. I love that song. Now, Blake. Maybe the way that I was on that train and we went from Colorado to Atlanta. <laughs> I said, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Linda said, wake up. <laughs> wake up <laughs> we got we, we got shit to do oh right. nifia got a straight man and sent her into uh, a wiggly fit train he was strange um, he said he, he had a wiggly fit <laughs> no not 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 see he looked like he at least like likes a finger in his ass or something <laughs> don't they all <laughs> oh goodness <Is> jamar <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Not Thank Jamar you. the truth, though. Jamar, Jamar had a pull right there. That was gross. I hate you for it. He said, They didn't turn. Oh, my goodness. That made Amber my first Rose subscribe. Oh, man. There's lots of content with things are going to places now. <laughs> look at there. Look at there now. Look at, look at, look at, He's at least gay for pay or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he there, Chris, so yeah. But no. It's a plus. He's very easy on the eyes, honey. Not bait bus. Aaron, thank you so very Not much. Bait bus, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Aaron, thank you for the generous tippy poo on PayPal. I appreciate you so much, friend. Love you, love you down. Uh, see you soon, because I actually have to come out there. Yep, you will be hearing from me in good old Vegas very soon. Um, listen, I, Safira. That's a pretty boy. Ain't it? Pretty. Uh, yeah. it's, the, it's it's here, and I love when Rue laughed at him for when he said, "Oh, you know, I was trying to hide myself." She goes, "Excuse me, you have a clock. Your face is clockable. Like, look at you. Like, I knew you was right, gay, he, girl. He gay face. He is gay. You face. right? Like, this is full queen face, but like, it's it's a good face. She could walk. Uh, I was nervous and concerned for this idea, and I knew this was going to be a tough day for my sister. Mm -mm. Because maybe she was she playing on the makeover part, not the dance part. It's like, oh. When they told her y'all were gonna have to dance, she should have immediately been like, I need to go work on some outfit. Because <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna be it. What are we about to do? The shuffle. It looked like it was gonna be a nasty outfit though. Whatever it was. It was for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> uh we find out that Q's partners also roommates with Safira's partner, and it brings up the giggles and the shadiness in Q. I can't stand that one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> American Requiem. No, um, why don't you like her? No, I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, that. Like you know, people get excited about something and then they just take it too far. She's the, the like screaming in the work and it's like, girl, sit the fuck down. Oh. She was screaming, spinning, spitting. Like, you're doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny because I can imagine being in the workroom and her going <laughs> like this for some sort of like little joke and just asking what's going on over there. I don't know. Q's having a good time not getting a win. So again, I'm coming home. Okay. home. I still don't know how she didn't end up lip syncing, but you know, here we are. Okay, we well, she, she should have been gone 10 episodes ago, but that's another story. A mandatory they could, they could meaning. <laughs> they could cut this whole part out because it was disturbing. <laughs> I was like, this, this, you could have just let this out. We we learned nothing. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. <laughs> and it wasn't funny. <laughs> Jamar with a nice sizzle at the end. All right. <laughs> Where's Kennedy? <laughs> but it was the duct tape being wrapped around. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we need to talk about what do not try at home. Like, help me. And then also using pantyhose to describe how the nut would go up into, like, so, okay, interesting. Poor gentlemen, they were nervous. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to, I, 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 I'll go back. I know, Blake. I'll go back because that was mm. me too. I just took the picture because I was. Where's the zoom like, in? Where's the zoom in though? I. <laughs> Uh, Duly, I said 2% battery friend. As you can see, these okay. are just, I literally just was like, 
hurry up. Where's my uh, check-in notice? <laughs> Where is my 24 hour check-in so I can get on the flight first? Please. Mm -mm. Mm. Did I get a window seat? I need to see. I don't know how long this flight is. I forgot. Um, I don't know why I got these pictures. Oh, because RuPaul laughed at this name very hard. She, 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 that's what I was like. Oh, she won. Lazy before, Susan. Before the, before the whole thing started, right? <laughs> she won. I said, well, this episode is brought to you by Plain Jane. Uh, but, you know, it was still... I thought it was funny. I, not it's as funny as Rue, but I did I did cackle a little bit because I was like, that is funny. Plain Jane, Lazy Susan, that would be your sister's name. Like, give her something that kind of fits the bill. Uh, let's see here. We got some super chats. Bio Miss Flores, they gave that baby goat hair. Wait, what? They gave they gave baby goat her pink slip and said, thank you for your services. Oh. Baby goat. Who's the baby goat? I'm trying to think. I'm scared to find out. Who went home last week? Maya? Dawn. Dawn. Oh, okay. That, I would hate to say that does make sense, uh, but all right. <laughs> thank you. I didn't want it to, but now I can visualize it. All right, Drewski, thank you for the super, ch super chat. I'm ready for alphabet soup to go. Q. Q. Okay, see, look at me. <laughs> Intelligence, 86 Warbit. I just noticed the RDR Dancer paper bag test is still in effect. Wow. I wasn't Wow. Glad. Wow. I'm glad I mean, it's true. It's, I mean, I clearly see. RuPaul is not invited to Alvin Ailey because every season. I haven't been to this show. Most of the time. Not that melody. Yeah. What's up with that? Oh, my, my. What is up with that? Blackbird. I mean, you know exactly what's up with that. Blackbird. Black skin. Blackbird. <laughs> oh, come on, Dooley. That was such a good song. <laughs> brown skin. Brown skin. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I need to go listen to that right now. Album. I love that. That is Ooh, that Don't song give me a song the rain. It transports me somewhere else. Wow. <laughs> brown, like a brown skin. Baby, I used to bump that in the car. Uh, we don't black own things. Mm, okay. Harold Lopez, thank you for the super chat. Would we prefer if they do the makeover earlier on the ball towards the end? I think that would be a cool switch up. That means a lot of people, if we have to find more people to then bring in the workroom and try to have these intricate stories of personal depth. And if we don't get that, it will feel like we just sat and watched this grown ass man walk down here with this other possibly grown ass man or person that doesn't identify as such or trans woman or if RuPaul gets over it women who are drag kings doing this then we will just you know get on from there but there you go did y'all watch that awkward interview sure did sure did sure did sure did sure did I was like ow okay so like I, I need. I want Lucy Stool to tag in and get get that get that get that baby that did the town hall because she kept everybody in order. She read everybody there right, or they. I'm sorry, I believe their pronouns were they them, mm -hmm. but they came. They they moderated and it was perfect. Bring them back. I need those moments to happen often. Um, we talked about this for just a second, then talked about other things. Now, when we got to this portion, oh. My lord, well, <laughs> Q was in trouble because it's Q, but Safira was in trouble because she had brought a dress, right? Like, that's the difference. Right. You know what I mean? Like, Q was held back because God, Safira was held back because of herself. You know what I mean? Like, there's you know, things that are yeah, whatever. I'm tired. Anyone want to take over from here? Let's go. <laughs> I mean, you said it all. In this Thanks, segment. Yeah, Jamar sucks. All right, let's let's keep going here. I think I fast forwarded all that. We just want to get to the makeover. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> question. I would keep the ball because it allows the girls, like we get we get to see who the girls are kind of through their fashions. I would be willing to swap the makeover challenge for a consistent roast or hosting challenge. Plain. Tell me you wash this shirt. 
please tell me that they got y'all washing y'all's clothes. I am sorry to see that everybody has ran out. Like, like morphine was the worst before this had happened. But then I'm, I have noticed this shirt. So, but girl, are you good? Like, let us know that they're feeding you. Uh, no shade. But I said, damn, I have, I, someone in the chat brought it up. I'm like, that shirt actually has been in quite a few episodes. And there's no problem with this because, I mean, you don't know how long you're going to be there. No. It's like, bitch, I'm going to pack for whatever I think this time's going to give. She said, I'm going to give whore. Let's see if this works again this season. It did. Uh, <laughs> Jamunji. Same C. Diggy went straight to the runway. Y'all are hateful people. That's okay. I love you. I do. Thanks for tuning in, all 474 of you. Are you not traumatized? Do me a favor and hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And become a part of this Rant Pack family and ask yourself the question. What are we doing here? Um, if you want to be our lovers, you have to be our friends. That's lyrics to a song and not a proposition because that's gross. Maybe not in these streets. Maybe in other streets. Opposite. Uh, there is cash apps next to these gentlemen's names. And there's also an amalgamation of other things down below that are crossing below the screen. <laughs> PayPal, cash app, and Venmo. We've been on this picture for far too long. Nymphia had a moment of vulnerability and it was with her partner that just got there. And I thought to myself, why were the other girls part of this equation? Which I don't have a problem with because it was a moment. I'm here for Nymphia being honest, but I was like, interesting. She chose, well, this sort of just happened with the straight man hug. We all say he's not straight. Booty playing straight man hug. There we go. She just wanted to touch her. See, see, Diggy can't talk about this part because he fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> Diggy can't forward through it. I just didn't care. <laughs> that's why Siggy's in here like, is that what You're happened? Like, I'm like, yes. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, as, as the president of the uh, uh, banana bowl, you know, <laughs> I'm always I'm there. 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 I'm, I'm just glad that she had a man touch her. I'm sure at this point she's starving. Mm -hmm. She's been in that hotel room. <laughs> Wait, who point. said eczema Jane? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Liam, be quiet, please. I, I, I don't want to ever read that again. I'm sorry. Why would she be eczema Jane? She don't have eczema. Oh, God, help me. I don't see. This is why I'm going on a vacation. This is why the panel's off next week. This is why. Blake also is not here often, and neither is C. Diggy, because of things like that being said in the live chat. God bless you all. Seriously. People like Liam exist. That's a thing. We love it. I know Dooley loves it. All right, let's move on. Who I says shingles, shingles, <laughs> shame? Sh stop it. What? Why, where? Stop it. <laughs> what is that even? Why would no it more internet for you. Log off. It's time for you to go lay down, Liam. <laughs> speaking, speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, Joyce, Auntie, don't you jump into psoriasis, Jane. I'm sorry. No, we're not doing this. I, I will not be a part Joyce. Of this. I'm not reading no more of these. Okay, I can't. I'm on the Jane train. Uh, check a look, uh, you know, choo choo, because I have to protect her against these birth mints. Uh, Mo to the. Oh, that's right. The train was on that bridge. Um. Maddie, this is for sugar and spice on creatine. Because I was talking about plain Jane and her uh, partner, and I said they look like sugar and spice. It's like gothy Kendall, but masculine. Mask for mask gothy. Um, but yes. So, well, let's just move on. They don't care, y'all. These men don't care. These men don't care. Hey, what do you think of these outfits? I think Rue looks great. I don't know about that shoe. You know about that shoe. But I <laughs> Shut up, Blake. <laughs> Crash, I give her a super chat, bro. Kudos to you, Brad, for spilling. That's funny. Uh, who's shoe? Michelle's shoe or Rue's shoe? Rue's shoe. Rue's really? Shoe. Now that I, I didn't even notice that Michelle's shoe doesn't even that well. I didn't even see a heel. It looks like it was edited out. Um, <laughs> <my Michelle's> shoe? <laughs> That's a good point. My, yeah, it looks like the heel's been edited out. I think Maybe. it's like right there, but it looks. It's hard I to think that's her ankle. Mm -hmm. These looks are all just fine, you know. No one looks bad. <laughs> no one looks bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> who, Chris? Who is this? The white woman? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Dooley, who is this? I don't know. That's like, who is who is this? <laughs> 
Is that her name? It's it, what did you say her name? Is? I don't remember. I genuinely don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do you say Balisari? Okay. I don't know her name is. Okay, Jabar, don't look it up because I see you on your phone. I almost, I almost said slur. <laughs> what you said, Queen? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you need to touch up those roots, though. Mm. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve Diggy. Ooh, get the chair with she you. She's going to be Baby Spice so bad. I don't remember her Wait name. Mm. I don't remember either, but she is this country singer, and there were drag queens at the Country Music Awards, and she brought them on. One of them was Kennedy Davenport. The other, I don't remember because I love Kennedy Davenport. Next. Someone said country BB Rexa. Ah. <laughs> because I see it. BB Rexa. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, not BB BB Rexa. Rexa. <laughs> that's now that's funny. Oh my goodness. Is that the one who um got the phone thrown at her? <laughs> Are these people? What? <laughs> if, if so, that happened at my job, actually. <laughs> I mean, I didn't throw it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ryan Lopez and knock off BB Rex. So, like, who are these people? Y'all are oh, funny. Man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Not BB Rexa. <laughs> but it's, it's who is BB Rexa on top of that? Oh, goodness mm -hmm. gracious. God bless Blake. Oh, I swear to God. Good people. Okay. You see, you got to have people like Blake in your life that tell you the real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, why exactly? <laughs> oh, T.S. Madison, God bless you, baby. Oh, I'm sorry that these, uh, you know, these twinks came after you online recently, girl, because you know you said something. Since they don't have you as a full time I mean, panel member, and we've been asking. To be Might fair, well at this point, <laughs> I think to be fair, if it was anybody that said this and said they would have been like Candace right. Owens, Candace Owens, Chris is. Hey, Chris, thanks for giving us your. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know what? You know. That's fine or whatever. I'm just tired of these lightheaded ass twinks with these wild ass judgments attack <laughs> people on the internet. Like, I mean, maybe go have fair. a snack and leave us alone. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> There goes Hulu. Um, JMCL, thank you for the tippy poo on Cash App. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, for a, wait, just wait. it's coming, mate. No, <laughs> for another great panel, as always. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you for being here. Um, is BB still making music or did she finally give up on that endeavor? Now, you don't do that because oh, wow. the, the industry is hard. Ask Jamar's favorites. Bio Miss Flores, thank you for the oh, super no. chat. What do I got to do about me? Forever. <laughs> Why am I? You're, you're always <laughs> there. Everything. <laughs> like, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we know you. <laughs> we know you. It's okay. It's a little wobbler. Oh, uh, anywho, why I bring in Kurt and them into this one? Ah, Glee was not a good show. It had moments, but it was not a good show at the end of the day. It was very much trauma um, stuff. Kids getting bullied and sinking off key. Ooh, it was amazing. No. Um, Choices. <laughs> this is a great sit down look. It's, it is. It's real cool. It's real like it's just. It's just, just a confessional or something. It's nice that she's not blending in with the wall like she's been the last couple of episodes. So, like, the gold is distinct. Like, it's like, okay, I can see you, Michelle. The hair is nice, too. I love the little curl in the front. It's good. Go ahead, Madison. Yeah. Hey, hey, Blake, this is how we operate here, you know. I'm... I I love Tia Madison, but I, I don't like that. Black people. All right, Kelsey. That's her name, y'all. Ballesteros, Blake. There you go. Ballerini. <laughs> I was close with the B and the Amy or East. Well, you I, might I was, as well call her Beelitrix Lestrange, bitch. Like, what, what are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Close. 
I wouldn't have remembered her name either. And I probably won't after this episode. God bless her, though. I hope your career is amazing. Let's talk about it. Let's not. We have to. Do, do, I honestly do, do, didn't do, do, know do, do. who was who at first. Does it matter? At this I just. I mean, the family resemblance is there. It's there because you blocked out all the fucking features in the face and created, like. I mean, maybe that was her strategy. Which, as a strategy, I get it, but I'm like, that's. How is that a strategy? Chris said, we're playing that. Final Fantasy Tactics, bitch. You, you over here talking about a movie, Advent Children. That's Setting fine. down the, the PlayStation controller and walking away is not a strategy, Chris. <laughs> not AFK. Mom well, said, to participate. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. See, Dooley, I felt that was a personal because see, Diggy could bring up the last Mario Party we did uh, as a t- t- literally turn my whole system off moment. And Chris, as much as I would, it, I was having a bad day. Friend, you know what happened was bullshit. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, all my <laughs> shit was taken. We're on the last five laps, and all, and I'm talking about I had accumulated work. I didn't touch nobody. I was being kind to everyone. All of a sudden, every star gone. I mean, I said, that's oh, master no. mode for you. I said, why not him? Is it because she's Rosalina and I'm Peach and this is how it goes? I hate it. I feel the game chooses favorites. <laughs> I hate the AI. Anywho, um, two hands to heaven here. No. I, mean, I think it was terrible. What did you like about it? Quickly. <laughs> I mean, I like the, uh, the two looks that they have. I mean, they just match. Y'all really don't see it for her anymore. No, okay, that's not what it is. That's not even what it is. Okay, go ahead. There, we have seen. I mean, I don't care for the makeup, but the the look ain't terrible to me. This isn't coming off as hateful. Just hear me out. It is a nice look. I'm just speaking for myself for the comments I'm about to receive later because I already know how I already know how the you know the whites go when it comes to this. So it's cool, but other things have wowed me more than this and then because it's a makeover challenge i'm judging this portion harshly because i'm like okay you just did one of these you might as well put a mask on and said we're sisters and called it a day versus actually (laughs) painting this person's face and trying to work it into your own thing but it's still cool i say it's cool but i'm like like uh, like i i would have i would have and also the dancing for real judges didn't clock that well, that also happened. happened during a certain rusical too. But you know, we can go there as well. Since someone walked around the stage and was praised for it, no shade. Maybe, no, that, that was frustrating. frustrating. <clears throat> <clears throat> she was in the top part. I did. I don't. I don't care for. Her. I think this illustrates the the how we kind of started this topic though, because like. We've seen girls in identical costumes get reamed on the stage because they and they always emphasize family resemblance, family resemblance. And so, like, I think they look similar. I don't know that they necessarily look like a family, like the family resemblance because they have on the outfit or the garment. So it's, it's just, I don't know. So that critique you just gave has been heard before. And it's weird that you didn't hear it for this one is what you're saying. It's like, okay, we've heard y'all do that where it's like, y'all look alike, however... Yeah. What story is this telling? So, okay. Like, we, we've seen girls eliminated, did a good-ass job, but they get that critique. Or vice mm. versa. And so it's like, well, damn, like, as a viewer, I don't know what's going to be doing this week. That's the I makeover st- judging is always inconsistent. I still yeah. think it looks cool. I just, for me, I'm like, you know, that from, I don't know what transformation this was. You gave her a poncho and said, work queen. Well, not poncho. <laughs> Like, not it's, it's Foster's home. Is that what you're thinking? Oh, me? No, I was looking at a comment. It says Foster's home. I was like, oh, I get more where the monsters are, that old book or something. Where the wild things oh, are. Where, where the, the wild things are. are. Don't do that. <laughs> That's a good book. It was just like a thing in panties. Like, can she not show me her panties? No. Morphine and Latina love Dion. I love that name. I'm sorry. I love this. I just <clears> didn't understand <throat> the judges' critiques. Like that face was made. And then when they took off the uh the skirts, I was just like, 
I love it. It was family resemblance. That's why I just like, I don't know. I felt like Candace, y'all. Like the line is always moving. Seriously. Oh, and that's why she's not on the next season. Um, <laughs> I do think that the critiques that they gave Morphine about Latina are valid. Like, sure, you could have covered the shoulders up. Yes, the hair needs to be bigger. But I think if the challenge is makeover, for most people, you're thinking makeover is in the face. This is stamped correctly. Yeah, it, it's muggy. It's like, to be like a clockable woman. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's she funny. made her over. And if she was like, oh, that's like she put, she's a, a a boxer, I'd be like, okay, whatever. I wouldn't. And she no. was sexy as hell. You didn't get the ass shot? Mm. Oh, no. The, uh, the body, oh. the body, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you know. Yeah, I'm a bottom. I don't be looking Then there's her, um, her entrance wig that she gave her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that's Swole Cali? It's telepathy. Uh, but no, I beat. To me, when it came to the outfits, it's like she kind of worked with what she already had. There was no, let me try to find something else, mind you. When they talked about the fit of it, I'm like, well, look at who she's standing next to. Morphine shaped like, you know, one of them uh, jars that has, a, you know, something that you would find on Bourbon Street, like a hand grenade, right? And then you look over here, and this this is a man. This is Dwayne The Rock Johnson that, that had to get in this dress and give femininity. This is too long Fu down. I they like this. Choosing. Yeah, they I thought the mug was the was the overall yeah. effect where it's like you took that masculine face and made her like beat beat. And okay. then for the, the dance, so like, you could have given more of the dance. It was like, but she gave you more than all of other girls gave you for the most part. Like, yeah, the, the the skirt issue was bad, but it was made up for. You literally gave someone a win for stumbling and making up for it, and still, all right. The entire competition. All right. You literally crowned someone who bottom. slipped <laughs> and tumbled. And slow motion. They slow moed it too, so we could see the fuckery and then be like, "Ain't that? Uh -uh. Don't do it." Eliminated James in the cheerleading challenge when she tumbled her life away. And hello. <laughs> and that's the only thing that we remember about that, aside from Miss Thing getting snapped up. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Hallelujah. Everyone deserved their win. Who won? How about that? <laughs> Hope that helps. Nymphia and Juanita win. It won't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bounce on the dance, dance. Uh, Nymphia and Juanita win. What did you think of these cockatoos? I thought it was great. The big bird reference. The bird reference in general. I, I thought it was smart, pretty. Transformation, Sorry. family resemblance. All right. Yes, Andre. Let's go. Come on. Tally yeah. it up. <laughs> I didn't have I a problem with the stronger one. one yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I have the same critique for this that I have for Q, which is that, like, you, it's not a makeover. It's like, you put them in similar outfits and then say, like, hey, we're, we're ready because we have beef. And, like, that's it. Negativity. It's like with this point I of view. Oh, Duly with the cosine, evil brothers together. That's why they yell. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm, here. So I'm here. I'm here. I only went in yellow today, but like, I think that's. Good. I think it deserved the top. Yeah, but I thought this was one of the stronger showings than what we, than what we got. Like, I thought it more were my tops. I thought it was pretty. Um, I thought Safira's entrance look could have fit right into this uh, outfit with the feathers and this sort of silhouette. Uh, I thought it was kind of gorgeous. When they said it should have been switched, I, I thought to myself, no, I kind of like Nymphia in the yellow versus the purple. The purple would have been nice too, but this kind of fits the bill for what I like with her. So if she wants to piss all over the runway, pee, girl, pee. It's her well, what I liked about it was they were like, Nymphia, you should switch. And she was like, I stand by what I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. As you should. Because every time they try to get you to change your color, they eliminate you. So just Ooh. stay in the color. Colorism on Drag Race? <laughs> Holy, listen. Who would have thought? I would have never <laughs> seen it coming. <laughs> never. <laughs> I mean, did you not see those dancers, though? 
Oh, Chris couldn't let it breathe, bitch. All right. Uh, like a mechanical bull. Bucking, bucking, bucking. Whoa. Oh, goodness. I need to get back to listening to the album. That's a true statement. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. Wait, you know who did see it coming, though? Oh. <laughs> Oh, ooh. <laughs> vomit on the stage and eliminated, but I made my life a mood. Okay, listen, past this, it's wonderful in my opinion, whatever. Uh, this is my first chop that I've ever given Safira. Yeah, Definitely a chop. This is, yeah. this is, is that from, not Maya's interest? Maya? That's Maya herself. Like, if it was, like, put on the refrigerator, because it looks like it's been stacked on top of something, and there's this blue dress underneath yeah. it that doesn't really exist. Like, it's hanging up on a wall. The gloves are ugly, too. Mm -hmm. like, are. like, were they white gloves and she was just, like, eating Cheetos? It's like, that velvet that you rub and it gets darker, or, you know, the one that's sort of, like, yeah, it just, no. And I love you, Saphir, but I hate it. There was this. nothing you could do to save this, baby. The this is the one blip. I love it from the neck up. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't even that. <laughs> the hair is great. Hair is great. Make us, no, make as us as always. Once, her makeover. Rebecca I'm Glasscock. Ooh. Rebecca Glasscock mm. is eating. Okay, you y'all leave that lady alone. Oh, that's Plain's outfit. It Ooh. sure is. I said Plain. You talking about? Oh, I, that fit all, all right. She had such an easy like um, model. Well, yes. Like, why didn't she cover up the chest? Too? Actually, like, I said this is Nicole Page Brooks tease, but like, color. I was given like, uh, what's her name? Olivia Lux in the face a little bit, but not like, I don't know, not as good. Like, like Equinox Olivia Lux. Like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like. Beige Olivia had a Olivia had a good face now. Olivia. Now a little had a good face. Huh. Huh. <laughs> mug the mug. Okay, y'all know no, Olivia. Listen, I can't. I can't compare her to. Not you see her in person. That's real time. Okay. Um, <laughs> mm. Maybe Kahana. Yeah, Kahana. I was leaning more to 11, season eleven. Kahana. Yes. Gentle oh, wow. gender, but uh, but you know also with the gym membership. Opulence. <laughs> So gender, no, no. Yeah, and a tanning uh, club membership. Yeah, remember that. I don't know. Like what her I, face looks like a thumb. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Oh. Whose face looks yeah. like the thumb? Is it this person or no? Um, no, 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 no. I am your alright. Well, not a thumb, an index yeah. finger. Index finger, even worse, because that hits everything. That means it's the most bacteria filled. I am your sugar. I hate Chris sometimes too, everybody. I don't agree with him at all. That was rude. Ooh, those fucking shoes. Blake, Ooh. you see them often, ain't you? I actually, um, she what did she wear last last week? She did wear some interesting biscuits. She did because I zoomed in on them. I know you did. You sent the video. I didn't post it because I love Spira. <laughs> That's right, Spira. Blake is in the front yeah. row spying our you, sister, and letting us know. Bitch is comfortable. If she danced tonight, no ankles will be broken. And we're appreciative of it, okay? Yeah, we got to keep you on your feet, baby. Okay. Bounce on the shit. Dance. Spira so says, we have universal health care. I will not. <laughs> okay. This ain't Canada. All right. <laughs> Hold on, hold, hold the phone before y'all go any further, before anybody says anything. I know, control the burly black man. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Negroes. Hey, everybody. Let me, go, let me go back to my chat. Hold on. <laughs> Do not let me call the dogs up in here. I will get nope. Leonardo DiCaprio so quickly. Okay, listen. Okay, right. boss. Hey, That's hey, right. hey. Hey, just be just because I'm, I'm actually walk, in the I'm house. gonna walk in the back entrance. I'll be back eventually. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, They're mad. Don't be mad at this bastard child. All right, I'm not doing this today. Do not be mad at this bastard child. I'll be your shock. Hey, plain Jane and Lazy Susan. I hear Kim Petras music oh. when I see this. 
look of this outfit together. Plain Jane is fine here. It's just I I I don't think got the ten dollars. Right. Thank you, Chris. I thought to say, I said, Play Jane was giving for me, but when we right. got Ooh. here, this face, what I tell you, what's Brit. up, hey, bro? What's up, bro? No, bro. What's I you mean, but she may have looked a mess. I think she had great presentation, though. Like in the performance, she was oh, actually doing pretty well. Presentation was right. Presentation was right. But the they, look was a little. But I tell you, it was her face club, too. but the sister season. Her face can take so much more makeup. Like she should have put it on her, but well, Plain doesn't wear that much makeup. So, at least in comparison to like Dawn, she paints what's there. This is a, a tragic yeah, mess. I can't. I mean, it's just, and honestly, it's just the face. It's literally Valerie. just. That's, that's really the only thing that's wrong here. But it's like she performed it so well. It's kind of like, okay. No, okay. I enjoyed the production of it because it was like, okay, I clearly can see y'all are coming in here like, daddy, daddy, yes. And it's the whole Claremont twins, but less work done. Um, and I also okay. enjoyed their dance. Like, they had a really good dance sequence. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just can't. This. But this is just. Even as they left the runway when, when playing grabs her ponytails and like uses them as a motorcycle. Like, oh, that's, the, that's cute. Her, oh, I actually got that shot, Blake. But this is like that South Park song. Strong woman, strong, strong, strong woman. Like very, very much that. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Did, they even, the face. did the judges even clock the face? You know, sometimes they don't. They didn't say nothing about it. I know T.S. Madison said something about that. If they did, I, it was on the cutting room floor. Oh, I didn't know Miss Three K's was on this season. Thank you, by Miss Flores, for the super chat. It is given that. No. I mean, if, if if Ratch came out of her mouth, uh, mouth, or also a possible trip to the White House, and what have you done lately? Then most certainly, yes. Um, and how did Michelle call like with morphine? Like it's too basic, but this, but this one. They're literally in exactly the same outfit, but with two separate wigs and, and shoes. Actually, Chimunji, I would have preferred this. Honestly, they could have put Q and Sphere in the bottom too, because that's a storyline right there. After all that shit talking, yeah. Playing Q and Sphere were all in the bottom for me. I mean, Chris, you know what, maybe like a, you, said, you said so many nice things that you just said played as in the bottom. <laughs> it was safe, actually. Help me, God. Okay, didn't so who won? Didn't they put Jimbo in the bottom for something like this? Where they had the exact same outfit? They criticized her, put her in the bottom, but then... Was that on Canada or was that on... I think on the, the first season of Canada. Okay, so... That red, yeah. that red bimbo. Uh, That's two different judges with time on Earth and experience and life, life experience. <laughs> Not time on Earth. I mean, what? what, what like, decades, if you will. Um, yeah. Can I just say, like, I have been loving this season, but I just want a season where it's just like shocking eliminations. It's just like, okay, they went home, they lost fair and square. We we get what we get as the winner. That's all. Like for you next mean, season, you know, a season where production's not playing in our face, like we're stupid. Yeah, pretty much. These are angry men today. If you would like to send them a dollar their way to help them be less angry, their cash apps are right there and that are available. We'll send them some love yeah. if they need it. I had to watch the episode day. twice. I just, just, yeah. Not y'all gave this a second go. All right, listen. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe the results. Right about now. Ooh, ooh. Da -dum, da -dum. These boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. Now, Valerie, I don't know if you should be talking about that after that one video you <laughs> played, Valerie. <laughs> now, watch out, y'all. They might come out as trans next year. The fandom will try to cancel you for saying, oh, this is the joke. Oh, my God. They're masculine, not visiting womanly. Woo! Valerie said, y'all came for her girl over that Amanda video. Right there, sister. Right there. Valerie said, shoot, shoot. <laughs> it's okay. I can't. I'm not playing with you, Valerie. I'm not playing with you, sister. Anywho, catch up, uh, catch up, catch up. Catch me and Valerie in YC Rhino's video on Valerie's channel. We play a game. It was fun. I said some things. Copy and Teresa got dragged. Da 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 da. -da. I, I'm sorry. This was good. This this is just such a family resemblance. This is like top two. 
It's ridiculous. It's a strong woman, but it's I a beautiful song. I don't care if her fucking are out. I do, I do not care. Okay, top me, Latina. It's okay. Oh, you put <laughs> nails on her too? Girl, I'm over it. I'm just clocking the decent, the very subtle nail that's been put on here. <laughs> this, this is like a Coke nail, but you know, that looked like a Coke nail too. What is, why does it look like that? Oh, so, ooh, from that, Atlanta, ooh. Georgia. I mean, that, 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 that makeover is atrocious. Man. Yeah, she looks <laughs> better as a boy. She looks better as a boy. A uh, top would say. Uh, it's mass, mass mass mass. Safira didn't. Safira didn't give her the Safira treatment in the face. Why? <laughs> like you see how dewy Safira's skin looks. Like in oh boy, looks casket ready. Oh boy, right. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, <laughs> subtle shade. He, he do was it subtle? <laughs> <laughs> Retire. You you're in front row with that lady. I hope that she kicks her biscuit at you the next time that you sit up there, bitch. I can't. That's funny. Um, moving forward here because that's a lot. Michelle was pretty angry at Safira for giving an excuse. I didn't take it as that when she was like basically saying, well, I definitely had something else going and we had to make do with what it was. So it is what it is. And Michelle's like, I didn't like that excuse. I'm like, she just kind of explained they had to pivot in my bad because this is what we got. You know what I mean? It was like, I tried something and clearly not giving. Uh, I don't know. Michelle, I felt like you just wanted to yell at her that day. It's okay. You're a mean lady. Um, yay, Safira, yay. Okay. Yeah. Shut up, Jamar. Uh, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Unbelievable. What's up, bruh? Yeah, bruh. Plain Jane wins. Dooley, how do you feel? No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to hear from I you. I love when the Electoral College conspires and gives us exactly what they want. Shout out to y'all. You are an angry Production. black man. And I love that about you, friend. You stay. It's her fourth win? Yep. It's her, it it's her fourth win. She is tied with Safira and wins now. Two and a half? But she hasn't been in the bottom to lip sync yet. So we'll see what happens. I wonder yeah, what white women she'll emulate then. <clears throat> well, if it's plain Jane versus Q, then... I'm it's sorry. I'm, I'm track the queue. Like, because I think they're about to be tied. Unless Q does very well this next episode, I think that's who is on their next hit list right now. Like, they're working on gens and they just hooked somebody, and that was the first one that came up on the radar. So Q's about to be out. Like, very much. I don't much think that. anyone's going home. It's just, I don't, I don't know, but I just think. They would just keep all four of them. I like what you think, Chris. That's great. So Morphine and Safira are up here, Dex. I'm not answering any questions. I'm on 2% battery, so this mouth is a little loose today, children. Safira and Morphine are here, and they're about to lip sync to this lady who is on the panel song. We've already seen it kind of play out. <laughs> about, yes, right. Le Le Beatrix Lestrange. Yes, correct. Uh, Blake, we appreciate that. Miss me more. I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, they, they both performed well, but there's just something so charismatic about a Sephira on stage in those biscuits. Um, no, I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah. Here we go. Here I, we go. I mean, you want to go first? <laughs> All right, I the think, Rosa girls just stepped in. I go ahead, Blake. Right. Her up and Safira knew she was getting ate up at one point, and then turned around and was like, Let me click it in the high gear, and was like, I will turn her up. But Morphine ate her up from start to finish. I agree. And those splits, I'm tired of it. I don't want to see her split anymore. She's done it for what? For that lip syncs that bounce split? Morphine it's, split it's on every lip sync as well, but okay. Um, but the same exact bounce split, like the exact same. Some people need room for their nuts to, anywho, uh, duly, people that you like are on the screen right now. You can talk about this. 
Oh, I, they, I, I can come back to the front now? You don't What's see, you can't even see her. Look at you. Thank There's you, only man, people of color you. on stage. You can in that, and you, and you, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. let me tag in, let me tag in, let me tag in. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Race? Um, I think I agree with um my uh, toppy and sisters here. <laughs> I knew that uh, Saf Safira wasn't going home, but I, I, I think I do think she kind of got ate up. I prefer. Safira's still a great drag queen. I she want you to. Say, you are a lie and a thief. You just said what you said. You hate her. Anywho, oh, Chris, such an angry man. Safira is amazing. She won the lip sync. Haters. No, I'm kidding. Everyone has valid points here today. Um, I don't think Morphine ate her up like y'all say she did. I personally didn't like the song, so none of it made any sense to me. There you go. I will also agree with that statement. <laughs> that, that's, that, that's my overall opinion of it, is just, it was like, I this know. song sucks, so like, who cares I if just, they win? I just, like, my, the way that I justify it is that RuPaul spent all her coin on Break My Soul, and everything else after that was like, okay, we got X amount of dollars. <laughs> what do we have? What have we not used? There's a what lot of what you what you got to say, F. Carry swing, <laughs> bitch, swing. Maddie got me scared to speak. Well, you tipped me, girl, so you're spoken. Thank speak you for tuning it. in. Say what you want to say, F. Carry. If you're angry with me, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so there you go. Hey. Um, if Morphine ate her up, then Morphine did. If Safira did a good job, she did. I knew Safira wasn't going to go nowhere with Miss Mama basically having almost the same amount of lip syncs as Maya. So the Miami girls were lip syncing as well. This is also Safira's third lip sync. This is the first time she had to lip sync in the bottom, though. She lip synced in the top to the last time. So a little bit of a difference in that kind of category here. But I wouldn't have liked to have seen Safira go home for Morphine to have stayed. I would have been like, that Red would have been an atrocious. I don't know. I'm furious. Like, oh, we've already seen the furious with me. morphine once already. True. Did someone put oh. spoilers in the chat? I wasn't well, looking. I wasn't going to look for them. Uh, Are you? Is that you? Oh, look at you trying to spoil things for people. That's terrible. Uh, moderators, <laughs> jump in. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna miss Morphine. She was fun, and they need to great. bring her back for something else. Like honestly, because she was a good time. It was a key. I want some of the outfits to get a little elevated. Mm -hmm. And I want her to invest in something that cinches her down. No shade. I know she's the body queen. If she wants to take a little, an extra breath with whatever she's wearing, it will do wonders for what she's trying to give. Because sometimes it'd be giving me a slip and slide versus like the actual art she's looking for. I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, no, I'm not going to talk about UK versus the world. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. Period. Because uh, Chris don't even watch that shit. So listen, uh, to... To the rest of y'all, how how were your feelings at, at the end of this episode before we get to Untucked, where I get to talk about my drag mother? Yeah. Didn't really care for the episode, but I just I'm, I'm just very happy so that you know when they when they reboot Drag You, Morphine is right there. They're ready and willing to, to ready. <laughs> we the four Navy ready. captain on call, ready to go. If they, if they do it. They cannot do random people for one day of makeovers. It needs to be competition style with a point system where they learn about drag through the whole process with younger queens or queens that are like just starting out and it's supposed to be that uplifting moment to build a queen mm -hmm. to be what you're expecting them for the show versus it like, I'm going to give you a day to feel good about yourself. That's fine, but there are spas for that. Like, uh-uh. I'm tired of that shit. Like, no shame. Um, that actually would be kind of cool. And then you leave looking sickening. Right. And, and tucked. And it was a very uncomfortable, but you'll look sick. You got a mask. You look sick. <laughs> hey, Julie, make a poll for us, friend. I, I want I want you to make something stupid. A poll? I know you, yeah, a poll. Pull your poll out and, and read it to the chat. Oh. Yes. I what saved myself on YouTube. It did. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> wow. <that's> not, that... 
I, I, in, in so deprecating way. That's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> that is, hilarious. is oh, wow. absolutely oh, wow. so so wrong on so many levels, <laughs> but like not at the same time. But like it's appropriate, but not appropriate. Like. I gotta know what you look like for me to like laugh harder at that joke. Uh, but listen, Josh, thank you for the. <laughs> like, I need to know what you look like before I can just laugh at that joke. Josh, thank you for the super chat. No sense if you're a morphine, we're top two. Now they were bottom two. Kick them out, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, thank you for reminding me, Blake. I need to go get a manicure and pedicure before I hit these Miami streets. Thank you. I need an appointment. I got to set up very soon. Why is my computer trying to fall for me? They're trying to run. I know who it was, see, Dickie. Oh, listen. <laughs> Shout out to my drag mother, honey, Davenport. It was lovely to see you uh, give a very heartfelt, uh, emotional speech to your uh, platonic life partner, Safira. That's why I stand Safira so hard. So eat it. Uh, but yeah, it ended on a very sweet note. Um, all that good stuff. Drewski, give me a second, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm really gone, girl. When I tell you I'm I'm tired of shit. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna come over to a lot of. Oh, there were a lot of super chats. I'm terrible at this today. This is why y'all be talking about me on Reddit. Fucking too. <laughs> okay, let me get back to this generic white ju a guest judge guest judge uh, number forty five. Yes, it, it still works. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, we missed a couple others. Let's go back to it. I did get your alphabet soup, Drewski. Thank you. Oh, I, I skipped this because of one word. Kids getting and singing off key, and that's just uh, from having to deal with Leah Michelle on the set. Oh, Leah. Leah. People don't like you, Leah. F. Carey, looking like two rough sketches. And I know that was about Q. <laughs> oh. You. I and I know it was. That's why I'm just like, oh, <laughs> that's funny. Compare, yep. See how this goes. Look how that was timing together. Compare and contrast cues to Vanjie's makeover reaction. Mm, I'd have to go real back in time for that one. Q was not the category. A mask is not a resemblance. Yep. Yep. Okay. Am I caught? Am I caught? Am I caught back up? Yep. Okay. I'm caught back up. I did it. I'm terrible at this. I'm so sorry. Thank you for tuning in. After me completely missing some super chats, I am totally going to ask, would you like to drop a tip? <laughs> I'm sure. PayPal at me for slash Reddit Reds. Bad Maddie. Cash up doll sign Maddie Rants. Reddit Maddie. Venmo Maddie dash Rants. Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you if y'all were in the private chat, terrible. <laughs> oh, So so long, sister. Can you shorten her? I mean, you can edit it. Oh, oh, okay. My, see, Dooley remembers I was an editor and has to put me to work. Let me copy and paste this. Almost said another slur. All right, let's move on from Drag Race, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to the show today and listening to the Drag Race commentary. I know we do UK versus the world normally, but I'm actually going to save my point of view for that so I don't feel so drained tomorrow uh, for that video on Monday. But I do want to say shout to the winner. Um, that's a rant pack member that, you know, we, we love her over here. We've all gotten to uh, know, uh, Miss Mama also shout out to the runner up. That's also friend of the show over here too. Uh, shout out to the others as well in the top four. Cause I was like, I know the girls are going to be online acting a donkey fucking pissy and mess. Donkey, and and donkey pissy mess and and i i will not engage in the shenanigans that's why i have not said a goddamn thing about it i sent the winner a voice message on instagram and i left it at motherfucking that i'll see the rest of them at DragCon. i will not engage in those shenanigans i'm going on vacation it's gonna be my answer for the rest of the week maddie can you i'm going on vacation maddie what's your opinion i'm going on vacation it's not happening um the memories yeah but my apologies for missing those super chats. I, I was on a roll today. Um, guys, Cowboy Carter came out March 29th. Um, you know, there were people who were leaking it from New Zealand. F you. I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> we, all of us here, uh, waited to hear the album 
I'm sure. And personally for me, and maybe not for you, but for me, this is her best body of work, uh, vocally, uh, instrumental wise, uh, et cetera. And I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I was, but I did. And I could talk about this damn thing for hours and hours and hours right now. And yeah, that's just where I'm going to start this off at, uh, when it comes to it, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions, uh, or if we have songs in particular that we all like together that we can talk about. Cause I know Yaga is one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <pretty laughs> thing. Period. So but- going into the release, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I like historically I have, like, I love music. Y'all know that, but like, Country music hasn't been a hit for me. Like, I, I have the girls that I love, you know, Dolly, Reba, Carrie Underwood. Like, they can do no wrong. But, like, overwhelmingly, like, it has not been my genre. Mm-hmm. So sitting down, so for the, the first night, I just did the first minute of every song. It wasn't until the following, like, the, the following day that I went through the album. And, like, I was just, I was in, in awe. Like, it not only, like, sucked me in, but it, like, kept me engaged. Mm-hmm. And so I, I just... I was just very, very surprised. And I, I I had to just stop and just kind of chuckle because it was like, wow, like, Dooley, like, you're sitting here listening to a country album. Like, when have you ever done that? Safira, Nicole Page Brooks, not these pictures. Thank you so much, Harold. I appreciate the super chat. I had to you make know, that. I think, I think for a long time, like, I had to believe that four was vocally her best work. And then this came and I was like, oh, but you're, you're, letting, us, you're, you're, you're letting us know you can still do everything. And do it at the highest echelon it can be done. Like mm-hmm. people may not think you're the best singer or whatever, but you are among the greatest right now who is doing it. And like this album was as someone who does love country, this was I, I kind of expected that there was gonna be a country rock blend. I was like, this is what I thought it was gonna be, but the beginning part of it was just so so soft that I was like, oh. This is what I needed. And then you flipped it up on me and I was like, okay, bitch, I'm this bug. Very that um it's it's funny because it was like you say it's soft, but it feels like it's this grandiose moment or like we're we're like it the radio stations through the interludes with it changing the station, like we're on a journey. And that, it's, it's it's storytelling. I fucked up on the first listen. I actually listened to it on shuffle. So oh! I was, oh! Oh! I, I was up that night till like three o'clock in the morning because I was like, "Oh, I really like this," and then I was like, "Something about this feels correct, but like, I don't think I listened to this in the right order." And so then I went back. Hey, and I was that's like, a oh. kicked in, didn't it? Hmm. That's a Tiva kicked in, didn't it? it? Baby, she clicked. She was. She was. <laughs> but even, even when you listen to her out of order, like the interludes still sort of somehow flow into the next track in a way that feels really, really good. Like to listen, like Willie Nelson's interlude could go anywhere on there and you would still have a good time listening. Mm-hmm. I don't even listen to Renaissance on Shuffle. I just have to listen to it start to finish. Start to finish, I hear that. You um, know. As, as someone who doesn't like country, uh, actually hate it. I Me too. Up in the South, <laughs> in a country with Republicans, racists, and Confederate flags. It's overloaded in Texas and Louisiana, like bad, bad. Like you blast it with every fucking day. But go ahead, Chris. You're right. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the album. Like in the middle of, it, I kind of got emotional because I was just like, "How dare I doubt the Queen?" You know, because I knew she was going to deliver. Uh, I can't say that I like it more than Renaissance because it's just too it's too early. I, I sat with Renaissance for two years, so I still have to really like listen to this album. So, I mean, my favorites are. I mean, I do break it up into like the first half and the second half. The second half is just my the Linda Martell half. show. Yeah, yeah, I'm right sure. after that because I was just listening in my bed and I was like, okay, I'm vibing to this. I actually like this, and then you know, Yaya comes on, and then River Dance. I'm just like, oh god, and then Tyrant, and then. Like um, sweet honey buckskin. So, yeah, second half is like that's my shit. Even though I do like Levi jeans, Bodyguard is like my favorite from the Bodyguard first. is really? everything to me. Yeah. I don't know. It it has become one of the songs when I start to listen to. I'm just like, oh, let's start to vibe. Like, <laughs> and just. 
like to your point, like the the listing though. So we go from like how country was to how country is to like how she would do it. It's like you, exactly. like it's it's storytelling. Like she pulls us into the story and sure. takes us across this journey. You and the interludes mark off each of the you know the acts in the and in the story. Also the like, and it's like it's the, it's the fuck you the country that's like I took all of your greatest. Like everybody that you love is on my shit. From the past, the present, and probably the future. Everybody that you love. So what you got to say? Everybody. So now what? What can you say? Uh, Baby, I have a stamp from Reba and Dolly Park. What can you say? Willie Nelson, stamp. Willie Nelson. Then what the Carters spoke up about it too just recently. Nancy said, I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. That's a Carter right there. Now to a Christina and Rihanna ultra mega super amalgamation of the embodiment of the navy and crescent waters that are Christina Aguilera's throat and, oh. and leakage and period leakage. Uh Jabbar, what did you think of you this? did not have to go into her dick <laughs> like that. <laughs> so I was like so I was like Julie where I kind of was like how is this gonna go? Because I don't really particularly care for the country genre either. However I was like I'm certain that she's going to do the right thing with it so where I can, you know, be able to uh, connect with it and enjoy it. And thankfully, yes, she does. And one of the, even though I don't like country like that, one of the things about country music that I do like is that they usually use a lot of lyrics. They give a lot of images and storytelling, um, which I think was definitely present here. And my favorite thing about this uh, particular album and how she did it is that it has that little sprinkle of pettiness a little sprinkle of pettiness <laughs> for the country music awards because it's just like girl, it's just like girl y'all She's treated talking me like shit. a lot of shit <laughs> and, and it's, it's good to too what you think what you think belongs to you which has actually always belonged to us and i'm just going to show you why we belong where we are but i think to your <laughs> team, for, for people who are like oh i don't really like country she gives you the opportunity to examine like but well, what is it about country that you actually don't like like what mm -hmm. What do you need to be exposed to? Like Willie Nelson said, you don't know you like something, so somebody put you on some really good shit. And this is it for and me. I, I was like, oh, and I think okay. it's never not so much this. I think like uh, kind of like what Chris said, said earlier is like when we think of it, like our minds go to people and like different areas of the world where that that country music represents something negative, you know. Even though the sounds, like there's probably like a lot of country sounds that we like that we can all enjoy just for music's sake. But I think a lot of our minds interpret it as people look a certain way and act a certain way that are associated mm -hmm. with country music. So it kind of warps our perspective on what we like and don't like. You, you know, um, agree. Thank you, Black Shades, for the super chat. Thank you, Jamar, and everyone for your opinions on this. And Vibe UK 2003, thank you for the super chat. I, I still see critics in those online still not giving this woman her kudos. What the actual beep does she need to do to get recognized as the GOAT? When you are the GOAT, that's why you get this kind of feedback. This is that and then some. She said I'm GOAT about this. She sure did. I was thinking about this after, my, like, after a couple of listens, but like, with the way that she is riding the line between genres and showing, like, connecting the dots, mm -hmm. I'm very, very curious to see how all of the recording industry catalogs some of the songs and what awards she'll be eligible for. And I'm also very, very curious about what songs get played on what radio stations. Because for any given song, as we've, as we've kind of mentioned, like, you... You can go from like a hard country beat to a Vogue beat into a, and so like she two hands to heaven a, can be an R and B radio, correct? And so like she she's really <laughs> set herself up to where like all her songs could almost be played on all the radio stations, and so like it's a lot of mixture of genres. Yeah. So she like on four with Solange when she was like, I'm not trying to just make genre specific music. Like I make music, right? That you, I you like. Do what you want to do, but like I make music. Mm -hmm. You know, um, to get into like the tracks themselves and what stood out. If I'm going to talk about the first half, uh, I was very surprised how Protector was extremely emotional and extremely good. Okay. I was sobbing, sobbing to the beginning of that song. Talk about Mama, like oh my God. But Daughter shook me. 
That is it. That's a, that's a I have thing. never heard Beyonce do something so lyrically pleasant and so storytelling driven. And then the opera that was sung to perfection and the way it ended with so much dramatics with the, uh, the symphony just going out. Like, I, I want to see it live. I have to see that live. I have to see her sing that live. Like, no other way. That, and I'm also shocked. I enjoyed the Miley Cyrus collab. collab. I, I did like it. I it, did too. It, I did too. I did too, y'all. I did I did too. Like out of my mouth, and I Something did too. about the way Miley sings and Beyonce's tones and the way their registers can actually blend so well together. They can go, both can go low and they can both go high in their own way, but Miley has her own it's like a, a smokiness to it. And Beyonce is like an acrobat so she can play around Miley's voice. I kept listening to it over and over again. Like, God, this sounds, they have to do this live too. There's no way this is not at the Grammys. There's no way. I, I hate it. I like that song. And I, that I actually, I like Miley on that track. <laughs> like I was like, fuck. I don't like that girl, but I really like it. Just, Levi Jean shocked me. Shocked me. I'm like, Post Malone? That's a cute song. That man sounded actually really good. I do not like his music. I said, oh. Maybe he, he showered and drank water that day. He was ready. He knew B was like, oh, what? Love. <laughs> um, I have to crazy is people, like, she recorded this three years ago. Like, so y'all been sitting on secrets like this for well, that the whole time. I think most of the songs she made three years ago. Like, I think Blackbird was made recently. Well, that's what I heard. I don't. Who knows? I mean, regardless, if it was three years or three, y'all been sending these secrets like this, bitch. Leave some good secrets. Um, and the fact I that got- your music has to already be progressive enough to last while they figure the the shit out. The fact that it's coming out now and still sounds fresh, still sound like that's crazy to think about, y'all. I also have to give her credit for spaghetti because that was a from from daughter to spaghetti is kind of insane to do to go from that level of vocal acrobatics in and beautiful storytelling to completely change the mood up and pull you right back into this is Beyonce and this is a Beyonce album. It's not what you want it to be. It's what she's going to give you. And it's Brazilian funk mixed in. With country hip hop, girl, you're lying. I was like, you're lying. Get away from me, Miss. I can do anything. That's <laughs> that's you like Garlic on daughter and flamenco is nasty. Oh, flamenco's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And then um, my rose, um, yeah, my rose is gorgeous too. That's actually my sir, apparently uh, on the album. And the album was originally supposed to be called Beyonce that everyone was talking about, and that's the original copies that are going out. They changed it last minute to Cowboy Carter mm-hmm. and those tracks got put on. Because I think Yaga would have probably gone on Act 3. So, okay. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. I think, okay. Got to get my mind right. So, I think <laughs> she's releasing the albums in reverse order to what the actual, like, orientation of it is. So, like, remember, like at the end of this album, we get abducted mm-hmm. by aliens and you you get that smooth transition so cool. into um, I'm that girl, and so like I I think that says that cowboy 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 Carter technically goes before that if we were to organize it because they've so had she, aliens in space cowboys sort of situation correct. and it kind of flows into the theme of it's Renaissance. It's a similar reference, and she so was watching all the West. This was supposed to be the first album, but because yeah. of where we were as a country when Renaissance dropped, she chose to right. put Renaissance first because she felt like we needed to move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this album it, was really- smart to, it was smart to do because yeah, it wouldn't have been um, well recepted. I think if this, if this we was- all was in the house, we was. Even more sad. We, 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 no, <laughs> we we would have been upset. We would have been happy for that second half, no doubt. But that first half would have had us all like, "Girl, we still we're still home." We America has a problem. You <laughs> um, <laughs> not, to, not to compare, but um, I feel like Alligator Tears is like the all up in my mind of. <laughs> I love <laughs> Alligator <laughs> Tears. That took me a few like lessons. It's not my favorite, but I just feel like you know. Still you gotta keep song. listening to that one. That 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 song's gorgeous, especially the end part when she's going. Oh, the singing! Lord have mercy, Jesus. 
it's for me it's two hands to heaven is my favorite on the album i i wasn't prepared I for that Riverside's I love my favorite river dance river dance sorry <laughs> I feel like it's like the Virgo's groove of the album to me. To me, I know that's right. Oh. He's fired bodyguard because that's the real one. <laughs> as long as the song is shit. <laughs> but there's basically one song, so it is Desert one song. Eagle. But it's huh? Go ahead. Desert Eagle is my shit. Oh, I wanted that to be a short. little longer, and I wanted it Solange to come in because it, it sounds like it belongs on Solange's last album to me. I'm like, this would literally fit between uh, what's that one song called? It's it's like that um, down 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 to the anywho. I was just like, down, da, 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 yeah, Tyrant. Tyrant's a great song. That took me a little while to like because I already felt like this is specifically like dedicated to the girls that wouldn't probably like the first half of the album. So I was like, oh, it's clearly to like appease those folks. But it actually works really well with Dolly singing the beginning with her and then it's sh shifting into that beat. And then she didn't swear one time on a song that is full of sexual references <laughs> and innuendo. Not one swear word. I was like, oh shit, you don't even have explicit on this, but you literally talking about write it. <laughs> Tap my shoulder behind, girl, what? Idiot. Mm -mm. But sweet honey bucking. <sighs> Or yeah, that I I wasn't prepared for the Baltimore club music, Jersey mm -hmm. house mix to pop Perfect. into that, and then it going into uh, bucket. That bucket part is re fucking ridiculous, and I'm glad it's long. I'm glad it wasn't just short for bucket. It was a good two minutes and forty five seconds. I said that's club time. That's club time. Re return it back. We are gonna be dancing down <laughs> to that one. But um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right, because uh, Pharrell did produce that one. Nrd. Mm -hmm. It sounded like Pharrell. It kind of sounded like um that Madonna song, um Spanish lesson. Guitar. Spanish, yeah, it's, it's a sample. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um I just I, I love the entire album. I to me it's her best work because of how I responded to it. Renaissance was great and I loved it too, but I was transported by the time I was done. And I was beyond emotional after the entire ride. I was like, I danced, I, I cried, I lived. I've never heard her singing like this in my life. And, and also the lyrically, it's like, what is this? This is not the typical, oh no girl, you said, let's get deep. You want some little country music? You said, I'm not gonna talk about nothing. Let's talk about some stuff. I loved it. I think it is a masterpiece. And Rolling Stone had it right with the perfect score, just like they gave Lemonade. I just can't wait to see how she mixes this into her, to her old stuff. Like, why don't you love me? Mm -hmm. like, There's a lot of songs that can be intertwined. And I think that's the beauty of Beyonce's work. Like, you thought that lady wasn't going to be timeless. We're 27 years in this. Choke. I don't think I want to tour this year, though. <laughs> she needs to be 2025. I know she's going to announce it. They said it's going to happen Monday at the iHeart thing. But, like. You don't want to tour? I need it. I know I need it in 2025, not this year. I need it now so I can start saving for I'm, in Thank 2025. you. <laughs> Don't even put them on sale yet. Like, wait till the Just end of the year when it's Christmas. Like, we, we, we want to spend I money. The whole credit card. I, I cured a car for it already. Let me know. She's ready to go. Take me with you, Blake. I'm tired of sitting in the back. I would love to. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a ticket, girl, please. <laughs> Bitch, hold Y'all see me you. be announcing concerts <laughs> on the first, on the fifteenth. I'm like, girl, like, can I pay my gas and electricity? Can I pay my rent? Like, come on, girl. Like, no, oh bitch, Sydney Park can really be your life. You know that lady always releases around tax season. She and know what's going on. Literally, and every year, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna save a little coin. I'm gonna save a little coin. I'm gonna save a little coin every year. Y'all better have your deductions together so you got that cash back because you know where you're going to spend it right here. Had That's not jacked up the W-2 and W-4 back in 2020. I would have had some money left over Listen. but since y'all over here messing with the tax code. Well, y'all want to lie about kids that you claim and that you know you don't have which have been risk itself so now you're going to have to get in trouble with that. Anywho. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Anywho. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I can't do it. But no, love this album. Um, I'm still listening to it often. I'm glad this came out before my trip. I will definitely be playing Desert Eagle, River Dance, Into Two Hands to Heaven, to Tyrant, 
to Sweet Honey Bucking on repeat for majority of my trip because that's how it feels like it's going to be. And Bodyguard will also be in there. But yeah, I like the majority of the songs, like the flow. I think it's brilliant. It was it was very radio-like and Willie Nelson. That was very cool. Dolly Parton up in there. All the Black artists in the country music scene that are involved in this album in there's a lot of work put into it. So when people say she's not talented, it just blows my mind. And, oh, she sounds terrible. And this, that, and that. I'm like, are you not hearing the levels of acro, like all the work that's been put? Like, please, like, just say you don't like her. Then I'll be all right with that. But don't discredit someone like this. I'm sorry. It, you just can't. If they say she's the amazing, it's because she is. I promise you. Y'all like Taylor Swift? God bless that girl. She, she do what it do. I am never going to go to someone's page and be like, trash no it's she's clearly enthralled some people and those a lot of people actually and that's amazing but beyonce also holds that weight in my mind you, my mother is your mother's mother so watch it anywho i'm done that was my beehive moment right there my mother's your mother's mother. that's stupid god that was very 19 and i don't have a job energy but anywho um Calder, oh my goodness. See, Diggy, your friend is back. Oh my God. You got company, uh, you got get him company. off of his phone right yeah. now, bitch. Yeah. 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 Yell at him, you Julie. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Come to the okay. front room, Diggy. You got company. Say, send me a face pic. Okay, no, listen, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Okay, I'm tired for real, yo. I'm not getting um, those Timmy America and coming right. right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donald ain't gonna give it to you. He didn't do it the first time. I'm gonna be your protector. Not give me on my high horse because you know I'm gonna start. Let me be <laughs> myself. <laughs> like, if you wanna be good, if you, if you be uh, real about it, <laughs> I'm gonna be so real. This review tomorrow is gonna be shenanigans for UK versus the world because I'm on. 1%, so it's going to be very fuck it. Do not care. Happy, happy Monday. Wow. Wow. Wario world. Whatever. Um, Y'all, I'm actually about to call this the closing today. Yes, much earlier than the two hour marker, because like I said, I'm, I'm past my point. I've already reached the burnt out level of a YouTube content creator. I just really want to go on my trip and just have a good time. If you want to throw me some love, that dar is available. Buy me a, uh, a Cuban. Is that what it's called? A the sandwich? sandwich? You can't have no, that. The sandwich. What's it called? That's the one. You can't have that. Oh, no. I said I'm going to have one and pray over it because I've oh, never okay. had anything before. <laughs> Me and well, God have already had this the, conversation. The, the, the John and the extra pickles there. Okay. Because, bitch, I, there's, I told myself on this trip I'm going to try things I haven't tried before. I'm going to do things I haven't done. I'm just going to have a good fucking time and just let People it be to the way. Way. I mean, it's, it's, why, why you don't? I get you some pernil. Find some, some find somebody to your to your. If tea there's paella, tea. I'm gonna eat it. I'm so paella, serious. fresh, delicious. I've never had it. I'm gonna be like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so You're serious. I have been too many years on this earth. Of, I'm not gonna do that. So I will stand next to you at the pearly gates, and I, I will vouch for you, <laughs> friend of Peter, when he asks you why you have why you have. There, the there will be a shortage of bread. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. I don't know what I said. I'm tired, children. You are not going to judge me today. That's how I feel. You know what sandwich I meant. It's got ham in it and a pickle. All right. It's pressed. Okay. Let's get these people out the way. Jamar, you did nothing today. Give us your social medias. You can find me on social media at Jamar A4. It's J-A-M-A-R-A-4. With the exception of TikTok, which is Jamar A4-0. Make sure you hit the link in my uh, Instagram bio for all the projects of which I am a part. Support Black Disney. You're the most amazing person I know. God bless you, you black Jesus feminine figure of press on nails. Thank you. Those are not his eye color. That's not his eye color. I meant to say that. I, ru I ruined it. God damn it. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on. Maddie hit the nude beach. It it is on the agenda. I haven't decided if I want to go yet. I don't know if I want to see things. <laughs> Not everybody's not want to because sometimes not everybody needs to be seen. Uh, listen, see, Wait, can we go to Miami together? Can we go? Can we go with the duo? You're talking to me, see, Diggy social media is please. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait for me, uh, see, Diggy one, C D I G G I one on Instagram. I'm on YouTube as well, and uh, yeah, patreon.com slash C Diggy one. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, see Dicky. <laughs> Blake is so funny, bitch. I can't do it today. Julie, can we go to Miami, Blake? Hmm, Blake. And I can hear you him fumbling with something. Blake, <laughs> Blake, you were actually doing something. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny to me. I'm sorry. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Julie. Go so if you have linebacker booty and you were willing to part with it, please visit <laughs> linktree.com forward slash Julie underscore linebacker to get in contact with me. And if that's not what you're serving, you can find me at Jamar840 on TikTok. Why me? Why not? <laughs> Why? I Like, do you want people to find you? I don't even want to say thank you to Dooley. Just Nancy Kerrigan. You can find me at barf underscore one on Instagram. Oh, I got the mm. giggles. That means it's time to go, Maddie. Um, all right. <laughs> thank you, Blake. Appreciate you for being here. Uh, thank you all so very much for tuning in today, for being a part of this equation of nonsensical formations of angry opinions, uh, lighthearted gestures, love to those that we sometimes like and dislike, and also a wonderful album review in terms of the artists of the century well of a lifetime for me anywho uh i appreciate y'all for tuning in today once again if you want to drop a little bit of love before my miami trip and i won't see you again hit me up also these gentlemen were so amazing today send them some love as well uh but also you'll catch me tomorrow for uk versus the world two after that i have two edited reviews it'll be the one with all the drag races it will be very short honey trust uh -huh. and then the other one will be us goodbye so long i'll see you next week's farewell it'll be a stupid video i put together yeah maybe probably <laughs> also aaron thank you so much for the super chat let me see if i missed any super chats i think i did crap yes i did yes i did yes i did um Vibe UK, thank you. Not even MJ and Prince match this woman at the stage uh, be in their career. She just is set to get better. Listen, uh, I'll stay out of the MJ conversations because, you know, we'll have to go to court. Crash, thank you for the super chat. Oops, your piece depends on how you're ignorant. Your piece depends on how you're moving. Stunning. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. I had to pull that South Park reference in there. Blanket, no, no. What an episode. Aaron Black Irish, uh, when Cartman and Michael Jackson were in the bed together, Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so awful. Eric, thank you for the super chat. What a dark way to end this episode. There's a house remix already for Jolene by Terry Hunter. He did the Break My Soul remix. Amazing. I'll have to check it out. Um, also, there's a vocal coach that did a, a listen through of American Requiem, Daughter, and Yaya. He's a, a black uh, YouTuber. I forget his name right now, but he can sing his ass off. Just type in like vocal coach reaction. Beyonce, Coach Carter, he'll pop up. You're welcome. His breakdown of the songs whew, blew my mind. I was like, oh, I have more respect for this. So there you go. All right, everyone. We're done talking about all this good stuff today. Yeah, it's over for me, kids. I'm out of here. I'm burnt. I hope you have a good one. Uh, we will see you not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, uh, take care. They're smart this time. Bye. <laughs> Listen. Yeah!